Hello everyone, this is Kiamin and welcome to Library Tutorial for Beginner. In the previous tutorial, we sent the name from here to our blade view over here and we show it over here like this, uh, leave your life, here you can see. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you data binding and instead of explaining what is data binding, I'll just directly show you the example. So here, let's just have a input field over here, let's say input field and here you can see type and the type will be text and let me just remove the name from here and instead of name we are going to say over here or clone model equal to will give to single quotation and here you can see that we are sending the name from here so we'll just say over here name and if we now save it then if we just refresh over here here you can see in the input field we have leave your life and here uh, what will happen is that here we mention name and whatever we write in the input field it will change this uh, change the name data over here as well and uh, here let me just write over here leave your life let's say happy and here you can see it is also changing over here as well okay let me just write it a little differently uh, let's just put it inside a div you will just understand it uh, it will just look a little bit clear and let's just refresh here and here you can see and if i write anything over here here you can see it is also changing the data over here and if i just remove everything over here and here you can see the data for the name is gone as well so whatever you write over here you will just see it over here and that is something called data binding so we are basically writing in the input field and here we are just mentioning the name over here which is coming from here and whatever we are changing over here it is updating the name data over here as well and there is one more thing i would like to show you and that is here whatever we are writing it is immediately making the changes over here and what if you don't want it what if you want to uh, make the changes after on second after you type so for that case what you can do is that in the wire model uh, you can just say over here dot debounce dot and here we can mention a second over here uh, how many second let's say here 2000 millisecond it means uh, 2000 millisecond means two second actually so right now if we just refresh here and if we just say over here happy and after two second it will update our data here you can see uh, so basically we will not uh, use this but there is one more function uh, that i would like to show you and that is called lazy so let's say over here lazy let's save it so what uh, lazy will do is that uh, whenever we uh, let me just refresh here and when, whenever we just write something uh, over here here you can see nothing is happening but if i just click away it will show us the data or if we just press enter then it will also change the data over here as well so you can do this for not only the input type text you can also do it for the checkbox or select option as well let me just show you the for the checkbox here let's say over here input type it will be a check checkbox and here we are going to say or model let's say or model equal to and here we are going to say uh, let's say check me and here in the hello.php we are going to say over here public dollar check me uh, equal to by default at the beginning it will be false so right now let's save it here and here as well and right now if we just refresh here here you can see we have a check option over here and if i click check nothing is happening so uh, let me just give a condition over here after the check me so here what we'll do is that just like we write uh, condition in laravel the same way we write condition in liver as well so we'll just say over here at the end of if then to first bracket and here we'll say dollar check me it means if we check the data then we'll show something and we also need to in the if condition so we'll say over here in if and here let's just say normal thing uh, in the p tag let's say i am checked and let's save it now 
and let's go to our browser let's refresh and if i now check this option here you can see it is showing us i am checked so you can do the same thing for the select option as well so let's just have a uh, select option over here let's say over here uh, select and inside the select we'll have some option obviously and let's say here uh, option let me just copy it two times control c control v and control v so in the select we'll say here where model equal to here we'll say let's say talk and in the option let's say here goodbye and in the option two we'll say see you again and in the option three let's say have a nice day so here uh, let's save it and right now we also need to mention this talk variable uh, over here in the calor.psv as well if you not uh, do not mention the this variable over here then you will get a error let me just show you let me just refresh here here you can see we have a select option over here but if i click select and uh, if we just select any data over here it will give us a error that uh, property talk not found on the component hello world so here in the component uh, over here hello world.php we will declare the variable public dollar talk equal to let's say at the beginning the data name will be uh, let's say goodbye and let's save it now and let's just refresh here and if i just select anything here you can see we are not getting any error but nothing is happening right so for it what we'll do is that uh, after the select uh, here let's just keep another if condition let's say here if and we are going to mention this talk variable uh, let me just copy it and here we'll say dollar talk and we'll give the in condition over here so we'll say over here in this and here we'll just say dollar talk and here you can see dollar talk and just like in laravel uh, in order to print something we need to give two second bracket so we need to keep this dollar talk inside two second bracket and if we now save it then if we just refresh here and here you can see at the beginning it is saying goodbye because we mentioned over here dollar talk will be at the beginning it will be goodbye and right now if i just change the value over here and here you can see see you again and if i just click over here again have a nice day here you can see have a nice day and if i check it here you can see i am checked you can change the data over here as well so right now let's say you want to select multiple data over here so for that case what you can do is that uh, in the select option we can just say over here multiple and then since uh, multiples uh, we are selecting multiple data then this goodbye it will be an array so we need to give this uh, third bracket at the beginning and at the end and then here you can see talk so since we want to select multiple data so here uh, we need to say over here uh, import then we'll give first bracket opening and first bracket will close over here then here we'll give a single quotation comma single quotation and another comma so for every single quotation uh, uh we'll be able to show a single data so right now if we save it then if we refresh here here you can see it looks like this and we can select it like this and if we press control and then select some something then it will show us everything over here like this so yeah this is all about this tutorial and and in the next tutorial i'll show you method and action in library so this is all and if you like this video then let me know in the comment section and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy